Right, in this video, we're going to be looking at finding the equation of a straight line given a point and given its gradient. So the problem is set up like this. We are given a point with an x coordinate and a y coordinate. We're going to label this uh, x1 and y1. And we're also given the gradient. So these will be numbers in practice. And then from this information, we want to work out what the equation of the line is. Now, conveniently, there is a formula to do this. And it looks a bit like this. So we have the gradient m, this is something we know, this is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. Okay, so what is this really saying? So we have that the gradient is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x, which is how we define the gradient, so that's good. Uh, but this time we have y and x as variables inside uh, this fraction. So we know what x1 and y1 are and before we'd have y2 and x2, but this time we're just replacing it by the variable. And then if we rearrange this, we can find out the equation of the line. So another form we can write this in is as y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So I've just multiplied the denominator up here, and these are both equivalent formulas, so however you wanna uh, remember this. I personally prefer this because we get uh, to remember that m is just the change in y divided by the change in x, but this time one of the points is just replaced by x and y. So let's look at some examples. So firstly, let's look at the problem where we're given the point as 3 and 2. This is the point, and we're given that the gradient is equal to 5. Now from this information, we want to work out the equation of the straight line. So let's go ahead and just plug everything into this formula right here. So if we do this, we'll get 5m, so m is equal to 5, so this equals y minus y1, so y1 is just the y coordinate of this point here, so it's y minus 2 divided by x minus the x coordinate, so x minus 3. So as you can see, we've left y and x in there, so these are the variables, and this is what's going to form the equation, but for x1 and y1, this is the point that we're given, so we're actually going to substitute the numbers in. And now it just comes down to rearranging. So if you multiply through by the denominator, and now you can see why some people prefer to memorize this because you don't need to bother multiplying through. But if we do this, we'll get y minus two is equal to five times x minus three. So this is just what this formula is saying. And then we can expand this out and rearrange. So we're gonna get y minus two is equal to, expanding this out, we get five x minus 15. And the last step is just to move the minus two onto the right hand side. So we're going to get y is equal to five x minus 13. And this is the equation of the line. And this is in a very nice form. This is what we want because we can clearly see now that the gradient is five. This is the coefficient of x. And then the y intercept is minus 13. So this is the method that you need to know. And we're gonna look at a couple more examples. So this time, let's look at the problem where we're given, we're given minus two minus three as our point, and we're also given that the gradient is minus four. So if we quickly think graphically what this means and why uh, we can solve this problem. So if we have the plane over here, x and y, so we're given some point, in this case, it's minus two minus three, so some point around here, and we're also given the gradient. So this is minus four. And this tells us how steeply the line goes. So if you think about moving this gradient along the plane, and then we're just trying to match up where it intersects this point. So we want to work out the equation of this line. And you can see from this graph, this is, there's only one solution to this. So this is why we've got all the information to solve this problem, because there's only one, one way that we can uh, go for a point with uh, a given gradient. So we're gonna use the formula again, and this time we have minus four, that's the gradient, is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. That's what we need to remember. And this time we have y minus the y coordinate, so that's minus three. And then we're dividing this by x, we just leave this as x, and then we subtract off the x coordinate, so minus two. And it's important to keep track of the negative signs because now they are going to cancel out and this actually just simplifies as y plus three divided by x plus two. And then to get this in the nice form that we want, uh, we're just gonna multiply through by the denominator and we'll get y plus three is equal to minus four times x plus two. 
and expanding this out we get minus 4x minus 8. Okay and then the last step is just to subtract off by 3 and this is going to give us the equation y is equal to minus 4x minus 11. So this is the equation of the line that we've drawn up here. So this is the only equation um, that satisfies gradient of minus 4 and it goes through this point. Okay, let's do one last problem. And this time we're going to get given that the point is minus 12 and zero and that the gradient is equal to two over three. So this time it's a fraction. And this time the problem is gonna to be to find the equation of line in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. So this is just an equivalent form to y equals mx plus c. And sometimes you might be asked to uh, get it into this form. So the way we do this is we go to our uh, formula and we take the gradient, so this is two over three, and we set this equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. And the first thing we write is y minus the, x, uh, the y coordinate, so this is zero, y minus zero on top, divided by x minus the x coordinate, so that's minus 12. All right, and then the bottom, uh, well, this just simplifies as y divided by x plus 12. So to get this into this nice form where a, b, and c are whole numbers, they're integers, we're going to go ahead and multiply uh, the both denominators uh, cross diagonally. So we're going to bring the x plus 12 onto the top and also the 3 onto the right-hand side. So if we do this, we'll get 2 times x plus 12 is equal to 3y. So I've just moved the 3 onto that side and the x plus 12 onto the left-hand side. And then we can just expand these brackets out and we'll get 2x plus 24 is equal to 3y. And then keep in mind that we want to get into this form, so we're just going to subtract off the 3y from both sides, and we'll get 2x minus 3y plus 24 is equal to 0. And this is the solution to this problem. You could also get it into the form y equals mx plus c if you want to, but this is an equivalent um, form of the equation.